Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Tony G. You're watching 1526 Barbecue, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make these croquettes out of brisket. Check it out. Now, a croquette is typically made out of ham. In Spanish, they're called croquetas, or croquetas de jamón, croquettes of ham. Today, we're gonna be making a croquette out of brisket. Now, I've scored the internet and have not seen this anywhere before, so I'm bringing you another 1526 barbecue exclusive recipe. All right, so the first thing you need is a brisket. I'm not gonna go in detail on how to cook a brisket. If you want, you can watch one of the videos I'm gonna be posting here uh, to teach you how, how to do that. But essentially, get your smoker up to temp, smoke that brisket until it hits an internal temp of about 165-ish. You'll see that the temperature stalls and doesn't increase anymore, at which point I'm gonna be wrapping mine in some butcher paper with some Wagyu beef tallow and bringing it to about 203 before we pull it off the grill. All right, so I'm gonna want to um, try out these croquettes with a cold brisket. I would not recommend doing this fresh off the grill. This is really good for leftover brisket. If you got something left over the next day that's been in the refrigerator and you wanna know what to do with it. Okay, if you're looking for a detailed list of the instructions and the steps, you can find that in the description down below. Now, we're gonna use our food press processor to grind up our onions and our jalapenos. Once we're done with that, we're gonna grind up about a pound of our brisket flat and keep that separate from the onions and jalapenos. All right, now that the, the ingredients are all ground up, we're gonna put some butter in a pan over medium high heat. And then once that's melted, we'll go ahead and add the onions and the jalapeno peppers. Good. Once the onions are cooked down, you're gonna add some flour. Now you're gonna add flour slowly and mix it the entire time. All right, so now once you have your flour in, we're gonna be adding some milk. Again, it's gonna be different every time. We're gonna add a little bit at a time and make sure we get the right consistency. Um, just as with the flour, with the milk, you're going to want to be stirring that or mixing that, that mixture up the entire time. Okay, now that we got that all mixed up, you want to make sure you're at a, I'll say like a stiff peanut butter consistency, maybe a little bit stiffer than, than peanut butter. That's when you know you've hit the right spot. Next thing you wanna do is take out your brisket slurry and spread it over a, a cookie tray. I added some wax paper on mine, but you don't have to. Um, and set that in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes to an hour. You want it to be cold. So like I said early on, I've, I've never actually cooked croquetas from scratch before, so this is my first time doing it. I have seen some other videos where the folks will cut the cooled off brisket slurry, or traditionally a ham slurry, into little rectangles so that way you can portion off the right size for each croquette. And then you would take those little rectangles and just roll them in your hand 
until you get this kind of like a miniature hot dog shape. All right, now in order to try to speed this up, I thought hand rolling them all might take a really long time. But if I jam all this stuff into a plastic bag and just snip the tip off of it, I could probably squeeze it out like, like toothpaste into the right size. So that's what I ended up doing. All right, so if you're hand rolling them, once you've hand rolled them all, you can move on to the next step. For those of us that are using the plastic bag technique that, I, that I'm showing in the video, the next step is to actually cut the, the, the tubes into the right size. And I just did that with the butter knife. Okay, so now that we have our croquettes portioned out, the next thing to do is to bread them up. So take some eggs, and I use two, I believe, and then scramble them up in a bowl. Next to that, have some flour. You're gonna take your little pieces of croquette and wash them in the eggs first and then dunk that into your breading and set that aside. This is gonna take some time. I think it took me about 30 minutes to do my whole batch. All right, so now that they're all rolled up, uh, before you cook any of them, I recommend putting them back in the refrigerator for a little while so they can firm back up. All right, while those croquettes are sitting in the refrigerator to firm up, this is the perfect time for you to hit the like and subscribe button. Heck, go ahead and share the video with one of your friends who you think might like it as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. The really cool thing about this recipe is once you've gotten to this state where you've, you've breaded all your croquettes but you haven't fried them yet, you can take whatever you're gonna eat for the day and, and fry them up and we're gonna do that here in a minute. And the rest of them you can actually bag up and put in the freezer and save for a later date. Now on that later date when you're ready to eat the croquettes, you take them right out of the freezer and into the hot oil and just let them brown up and you'll be ready to go. All right, so as I just mentioned for the croquettes that come out of the freezer, these fresh ones are just gonna go into some hot oil. You want it to be somewhere around 350 degrees. You can kind of just guess. You're only gonna leave them in there for two to three minutes. You just want them to brown up. Take them out. Once they're brown, put them on a paper towel to dry off and they're ready to go. Now these came out really, really, really good. There are some tweaks I would do to the recipe. I think next time I'm gonna use less onion, maybe half of an onion, and probably either more jalapenos or add some habanero or something to really bring the spice up a little bit. Um, for the tasting, we actually tasted it with some barbecue sauce, but I think this would go really, really well with like a tangy mustard sauce or like a Carolina Gold. Um, a buddy of mine, he actually made a video on how to make this Carolina Gold. That'll be in the description as well if you wanna check that out. Um, but you can pair this with whatever you like to eat with your brisket, right? So if you normally like barbecue sauce with your brisket, this will go great with barbecue sauce. And there you have it, folks. Brisket croquettes, deep fried pockets of breaded brisket deliciousness, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.